So after this has gone through your body, no telling how your organs react. A street diet is crucial to the performance of many football players on the field. Many boast of having their own very own personal chefs who prepare healthy meals while others indulge in fish, salads and high protein meals at fine dining establishments. However, every now and then a football player will indulge in some fast food on a cheat day or you might want to consider the reason why soccer players should avoid junk food. Junk food lack nutrients and contain numerous harmful ingredients. It typically has a lot of sugar and salt, and it also has a lot of empty calories. This is the primary reason why soccer players should avoid junk food. Don't get me wrong, though you can eat junk food here and it's fine because life is supposed to be enjoyed. Still, it is absolutely harmful to athletes in food sports. Therefore, here are a few football players who couldn't resist eating junk. Muscle or mentality? Mentality. Number 1. Eddie Nazard Eddie Nazard has admitted that he enjoys the odd bone or two, but he constantly faced GBs about his weight. However, in 2011, he left the stadium and was later seen eating a burger after being sobbed off by his country during the match against Turkey. Because of his lack of professionalism, manager George's Linkes imposed too much suspension after the shocking image was published in Belgian newspaper. Number 2. The GOAT Lionel Messi Messi is known around the world as the greatest football player ever, but even he struggled with his diet early in his career. At one point of his career, Messi had an odd habit of throwing up on the feet. You may, may not remember this. This was first ascribed to Messi taking an alternative route and speeding up so rapidly that his own digestive system couldn't keep up. We were aware that even when spoken aloud, that sound absorbed. But this was, this was the explanation provided for many years. Later on, Messi himself came to disapprove the myth revealing that his diet was primarily to blame for his bizarre habit. He said, I ate badly for many years, chocolates, fizzy drinks and everything. During games, that is what caused me to vomit. I now take better care of myself. I eat salad, meat and fish. Everything is managed and organized. He asserted that the change has improved his health and well-being allowing him to continue to play sport as long as he has. Now we move to number 3, David Beckham. Despite the fact that he announced his retirement in 2013, Beckham has maintained his trim physique, amazing in the light of the fact that he adores fish and chips. He won't share the place of food while watching a Champions League match, which include a sabalot called chips, a loaf of bread, and a large bottle of ketchup. Of course, the curry sauce was also not forgotten. Number 4. The Goat Cristiano Ronaldo Even Ronaldo has junk food days where he indulges in his guilty pleasure. Fonte claims that when on international duty, the forward always reaches for the bacalhau, a traditional Portuguese dish of hard-boiled egg, porredo, onions, olive, and olive oil alongside dried and sorted cold fish. Fonte stated to talk sports, I've seen him eating a little bit of everything. This indicates that he also seems to like stick with chips and fried eggs after games. However, the man's habits off the field are already being influenced by his extreme attention to details when it comes to maintaining his peak physical condition. Lil Grant, the Red Devils goalkeeper, explained that he and his teammates avidly observed what Cristiano Ronaldo ate for the dinner the night before a recent match at the team hotel. Grant revealed that none of the team members got up to eat a traditional dessert after seeing the 36 years old eating a plate of quinoa 
avocado and boiled egg. He said, How the impact he's having on the group, right? And this was Friday night in the hotel. So as you guys will be aware, you finish your dinner and usually uh, on a Friday night, you've got a few sort of cheat stuff out. You've got a bit of an apple crumble and custard or you've got a uh, bit of brownie and cream or whatnot. I, I tell you now, not one player touched <laughs> the apple crumble and custard. Not one player went up for that brownie because everybody was sort of, was sat down the, on our table for, for pre-match and straight away one of the lads went to me. What's Cristiano got on his plate? So I'm having a little goosey gander over at what he's got. And obviously it's the cleanest, most healthy plate you can imagine. And it just cracked me up how not one single player dared get up and uh, take that junk food on which we laid out. Now to the fifth and the last player we have for you, Leo Ferdinand, the former Manchester United defender. Nados is his poison. He even have a fancy Nados i5 card which grants him and his friend a free food at the restaurant. When I come back to London by train, I always stopped at the Nados in Eastern for a bite. He tweeted. While on another visit, he composed on his social media page, OMD, this Nados is gonna get me destroyed. In addition, Ferdinand and Kate rented a Nados in Canberra, South London in 2019 for a Christmas dinner with their friends. So, those are the five players that couldn't resist eating junk while some have stopped. Do you think there is a player we didn't mention? Let us know in the comment section. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more.